Hey everyone, so on this episode of Make It With Calvin, we're going to be talking about ways that you can repair STL files that you found online that might have problems with them. And in this case, we're going to be doing the 16mm scale Hudson Skip Wagon by Railprint UK. So, let's dive into it. Now, sometimes when you find files online, they will have issues, and by no means am I throwing shade on the designer. Sometimes it happens, I'm not entirely sure, uh, doesn't mention what program was used, but sometimes you'll download a file like this and you'll notice that it definitely has some issues. You'll notice that Simplify is showing these areas as being hollow, which obviously means that something ain't right here. So there's two different ways that you can go about fixing a faulty STL file. The first one is formware.co slash online STL repair. This is a super useful tool and I'll get back to this in a minute. I will say that recently I've noticed that the queue time for this is a lot longer than normal. They do say that the repair service has a timeout of four minutes, which means that any files that are in the queue, if they cannot be fixed within four minutes, it gets rejected, so that way it can move on to the next one, which is a really nice feature, so the system doesn't get stuck up on one file for eight hours straight, but we'll get back to that in a sec. Now the other option is, if you don't want to do that, is you can open the file with 3D Builder, if you have a Microsoft Windows computer, tell it to import the model and you'll notice it has this red bounding box and it says one or more objects are invalidly defined click here to repair so we'll click on that and it'll work its repair magic and then we can save the file yeah we don't really care about that and now if we take and we import the new it should be the new yeah there you go the new skip body file and arrange it, we'll notice that, hey presto, this one's good, this one's still a little bit faulty. Now, going back to this one, I don't have this particular file in the queue, I've already set something else in, but what's really nice about this is, in this case, it gives you a preview of what the file looked like before and what it looks like when it's repaired, but it's nice because it will tell you what's wrong with it and if you're not sure what say a uh, naked edge is well naked edge edges are edges that only have one connecting triangle face this means that there is a hole in the mesh this might result in artifacts during slicing or what's an inverted face faces with inverted normals pose a problem during slicing the slice engine won't know if the face is representing the inside or the outside of the model it's really nice because it gives you all this detailed information and It'll also tell you if it changed the number of vertices, the number of triangles, and then you can download the fixed file, and it also puts fixed at the end of it. Now the drawback to this, and also using 3D Builder, is it will only do files one at a time. Now, I'm not saying that one particular program is better than another. If you're in a rush and you need to try and get things done, 3D Builder might be your best bet, although there have been times where I have used 3D Builder and it's gotten stuck can't do it and firmware is able to deal with it or vice versa and sadly some STLs are just so bungled there's absolutely nothing that can be done to salvage them so take your pick either way all right hope somebody found this useful I'll have links in the description below to both of these and I'll see you guys next time here on make it with Calvin